Everybody knows about the blonde BL03, but now they have a little sibling known as the blonde minis. Let's talk about it. Now before we get started, I should note that the blonde minis were sent out to me for review, but this won't affect my review in any way, shape, or form. Also, this is going to be more of a gaming perspective review. It's not an audio file review, it's, it's a gaming review, how well they will do in games and whatnot. That being said, let's get started on this review. That said, you're going to get these little macaroni IMs, a silver straight cable, extra ear tips of different sizes, a carrying pouch, and a manual. <laughs> if we take a closer look at these little IEMs, they look a lot like little macaroni elbows, or something else. Anyway, they use a smooth and shiny all-metal build and this includes the nozzle and the grill as well as for connections it uses the standard two pin connectors which then brings us to the cable which is more of a standard straight cable rather than a braided one but thanks to its kind of thick sleeving it doesn't tangle too easily at least until we hit the splitter where the cable gets thinner as it gets split into two anyway at the two pin connector side we have memory hooks for our ears down the right side we have our microphone with a single button for pause playing and ending calls and down at the end it uses a standard 3.5 millimeter jack now here's how it looks like on your head from the front you can actually tell it's quite flush in your head and doesn't stick out all that much. From the side, the macaronis will just kind of curve into your ear canal, and it looks kind of strange at first, but it's actually quite comfortable, sitting along the curve of my ear. Okay, now for those of you who will be using the inline microphone, this one over here, well, this is how it's going to sound. So, you know, you'd be using it for like console, or maybe using it on a laptop that only has that one combo headphone, you know, mic port thing, then, you know, this is what you're going to sound like when you're chatting with your buddies. Now, when it comes to the sound signature of the Blonde Minis, it's kind of similar to its sibling, the Blonde BL03s. But there are some differences in like the sound signature shape and how they present sound. That being said, I think it's only fair that I compare the minis to the um, the BL03 just a bit during this review because some of you guys are gonna be curious because these are well known. These are kind of the new kids on the block. That being said, when it comes to sound signature, they both present things in sort of a V-shaped sound signature. With the minis, you're gonna get a traditional V-shaped sound. You're gonna get some bass extension, high extension, and a mid recession. Whereas when it comes to the BL03s, it's got more of like of a W shape where it goes into the low end and the high end and to make up for the recession of the mids it tries to boost it a bit causing that W shape and this then affects how they present sound like the blonde minis have a greater bass extension range than the BL03s being able to reach into those really really low notes in comparison it also has a different bass response like on the blonde BL03s the bass response is pretty rich it's fat and thick and very whole but the thing is this also leads to um bass bleed into the mids and the mids on the BL03s are kind of pushed a bit forward therefore what happens is the mids end up being a bit muddied by the bass and that essentially affects the clarity on the blonde minis the bass response is very tight it's very clean and punchy so it doesn't bleed too much into the mids allowing the mids on like the blonde minis to have more clarity the mids however are recessed a bit which will affect the clarity so they aren't as clear as they could be but it this is the nature of the V-shaped sound signature. The mids are just recessed, and that's just what happens. Still, the clarity of the mids on the Blondes Minis is better than on the BL03s. Now, the Blonde Minis also have a greater high extension range, so it can go really far up there. But the thing about that is, while you get more of the highs, and the highs are actually pretty clear on the Blonde Minis, eventually it gets a bit sharp, and then it gets a bit sibilant because when you reach a certain range of the highs, sometimes things get sharp and they get sibilant. And sibilance is that like ear piercing sound when someone makes like an S sound because the range just goes way too sharp for him, like some people like myself. Whereas on like the BL03s, there's a bit of roll off on the top, so you don't really get sibilance as much. Whereas on, you know, the minis, you will definitely get sibilance every now and then, unfortunately. Now, when it comes to the sound stage of the blonde minis in games, it was actually pretty okay. The sound stage was quite sizable for an IEM, and it gives you enough room to work with to like track sounds, which then plays into imaging. The imaging of the blonde minis was actually pretty good, honestly. I could find anything I needed to find, and I'd say it was fairly accurate, honestly. Now, compared to the blonde BL03s, the imaging and sound stage is almost the same on the minis. If anything, I think the blonde BL03s have a slightly larger sound stage and just slightly better imaging, but just slightly. Anyway, I think you can be happy with either of these for gaming. Like your choice between them would really come down to your preference of sound signature. Like if you're looking for like a fatter bass and you're afraid of siblings, you got the blonde BL03s. If you're looking for like a really punchy cleaner bass and like a really good extension of sound from the low end high end, you got the blonde minis. Anyway, if you guys wanna buy either of these IEMs, I'll have links in the description to buy from. And that's pretty much all I have for today. So if this video did help you out at all, do leave me a like. 
helps me in this whole YouTube algorithm space thing. If you want more content, you want to see more content, subscribe for more and you'll know when I'm posting next when you hit that notification bell. Also, I'm on Twitch these days, but I'll never know when I'm on, so follow and you'll know when I'm on. That being said, well, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So, see you guys next time.